yesterday. So I did. Uh, did I? I don't know. Uh, anyway, so um, it is Fix It Friday, and I'm fixing to go get. Um, listen to me. I'm fixing to go get. I don't normally talk like that. <laughs> Why do I talk like that on camera? It seems like my southern accent comes out thicker on camera. Anyway, whatever. So, um, I am going to go get Gary, and we're going to do Fix It Friday. I'm not sure what we have planned, but um, first I stopped at the post office. Let me show you what I got. So, I stopped at the post office because I had to mail something, so I thought I would check my P.O. box, and I got a card from Miss Darlene from a peek inside. So, I'm going to open that and uh, read that, and... Uh, I'm going to go to the chiropractor first and stop at my sister's and um, then go get Gary. Okay, guys, I'm going to get Gary. I just dropped off a huge bin of stuff to the Goodwill um, for the One Box Challenge. In case you missed that, I will put a link down below. It was put on by Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home. I always do that. I don't know how many challenges I've done, but quite a lot. So, um, I'm glad to get rid of some stuff and hopefully I can get rid of some more stuff today. So, I'm um, going to get Gary and get started on my day. All right. I'm going to turn the light on. No. Gary's pulling up the tack strip. That looks like a fun job. Did you Whoa. want help? Not. Not. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, that's good. So that's a start. And um, we're going to, he's, well, we, <laughs> there's no we in this. He's going to put it together the cabinets, fix the garbage disposal, fix the door in the hutch, and uh, maybe we might clean up the garage too. So there's that. Fix it Friday. So I am going to take all these nails and stuff out and patch it and touch up the paint. So yeah. Oh, okay, I'm not really helping Gary today. I got to get some chores done. So he's going to be doing his own thing. So he's going to fix this drawer here. Which is not there, so he's in the garage right now trying to fix that. Take the linens out of there. Yeah. All right, so he's gonna fix the drawer, the run. Well, I don't know what do you call it. What broke on it? The runner on the bottom. Um, the back piece of the back. Oh, okay. Back. So he's gonna fix that, and then he's going to move the dishwasher out to the road, and I'm gonna put it on Craigslist, and um, see if anybody wants it. I'm gonna say. It doesn't work. Maybe you want it for parts. Yada yada yada. Anyway, so that's that. Oh, oh, thanks. Yay. Okay. Told Next you it was. Thing. Told you it was a quick fix. You just leave that out. I'll fix it. Leave it out. I'll fix it. All right. So Gary's gonna see if he can fix this seal. I don't know if it's on there correctly. Um. There, what, it, what it is, Gary, is there's a wire that goes around it, too. And it popped off one day. The wire popped off, not the seal. So if I'll put the wire back on, but it still leaks sometimes. Like drips. Okay, so I called Sears, and I just ordered the part. This is a picture, so I can see the model number. And, um, yeah, so that's done. That was $100. It should be here. I don't know. I'm going to get an email so actually I don't know when it's going to be here so that's done yeah all right Gary's gonna fix the garbage disposal I don't know he said he didn't see anything in there he just rinsed it all out um when you turned it on it was making noise like something was caught in there I guess you're just gonna so he flushed it out and he's going to reinstall it and see what happens I'm like are we gonna have to buy it the garbage disposal. Okay. I knew I was not. Um, yeah, you guys see? There's a screw in there. I knew I wasn't crazy. Alright, so 
this out by the road so I'm gonna go list this on Craigslist and take a picture right now and list it to do a curb alert uh, do you all know what a curb alert is maybe you don't so you just put curb alert for free and then people drive by and pick it up so I've done that many times so maybe somebody wants it for the parts or something and I have all of it's recycle day tomorrow so I have all the cardboard boxes out here um, I did a one box challenge and that was part of one box challenge getting rid of all my boxes, some of the boxes are from my craft room that I was saving to do something with. And I'm like, yeah, forget it. Like shoe boxes, they're all in the barrel here. And stuff like that. So, like here's a shoe box. And yeah, I'm not ever going to do something with them. So, yeah. So, Gary's putting the carpet down by the road, too. So, bye-bye carpet. Alright, so I got the wash going. And a towel here, just in case it spills So. You guys may have noticed, and sorry for the noise if the washer is running, that I, um, because some of you have asked why I have a bungee cord on my dryer. Because the little hooky thing that this internal thing here is broken. So Gary said there's like way too many screws to unscrew and he's afraid it'll mess up the door. So I'm just going to call to see if there's a mechanism I can put in there to replace and fix that. And, um, I guess we're going to clean up the garage, straighten it up. Still not ready to put all the stuff in the attic because hubby didn't fix his stuff up there, so that ain't happening. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to, I'm not going to put you on fast forward. I'll just show you what it looks like afterwards. Yeah. All right, Gary and I cleaned up the garage, so we still can't put this stuff in the, all the Christmas stuff in the attic. I think I already said that because hubby did not rearrange up there and um, do stuff. I was trying to turn the light on. There we go. I don't know if that helps. So, um, yeah, the fall stuff went over there. So he has to he has to clean it up out there. So I still have two bins. So I took all the ornaments out of that tree box. On going to donate the tree. So these are all the ornaments, so that's, I gotta put the top on that. And then this is reserved for the porch. Yes, I did not clean up the porch yet. And that's it, so, um, yeah, I've reduced. And uh, sometime or another, I need to go through these and decide what Christmas lights I'm keeping and which are going, but. So those might all go, except for a few. Um, I did the one box challenge and got rid of this humongous thing of um, ornaments or not ornaments Christmas stuff so there's already some more stuff in there but I think my sister wants this and that and yeah so there's already started up again so so we blew out the we cleaned it up and we blew all the dirt out of it oh we cleaned up the the bench the bench was a mess the workbench so now it's a little bit better I still want to get in here and organize this one day but it's not top on my list. So, all that stuff is out by the road. And here's the tree. And um, when I take Gary home, I'm going to go to the Goodwill again and donate the Christmas tree. Yay. All right, so Gary's putting together the first of the um, Ikea stuff. It's just the bridge. Show me the picture. Um, I told him just go open a box and start putting together and that happened to be what he picked out. It's the bridge that goes between the two cabinets. After you build the towers. Yeah, after you build the towers. So it's not exciting. First. So, yeah, he's working on it. I think he's going to do that and then go home. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we didn't seem like we did a whole lot today, but... What? We, that's it. <laughs> okay, so let me rephrase that. I didn't get much done today. <laughs> I'm just having a bad day. I mean, I did make the bed. And um, so I'm coming in here because um, I was gonna patch and stuff and didn't do that. So so Gary looked at this window, it won't open. And the, um, I don't know what you call it. What's that thing called, Gary, that opens the window? The ballast, I think, is broken on this window anyway. But then even further, it wouldn't 
open. So he was going to fix this, but I think I decided I'm going to call somebody and fix this window. And the two windows in my master bedroom, the small ones, they don't open either. You may have seen these things in my windows. That was to hold the window up. So it is springtime and I wanna be able to open the windows and the screens need fixed too. So I think I'm gonna call somebody to come out and um, fix them. He used to work for a window place, but there's so much stuff for him to do right now. Um, it's not like he doesn't have anything to do. Every time he comes over here, I got plenty for him to do. So I think I'm gonna hire somebody to fix the windows. Yeah, so there's that. Nice. Yeah. So guys, it's white, but it's like, I don't know, it's not going to come off good because of, it's dark and mine, but you can see the grain of the wood still, and I really like that. It's just not like, um, I don't know, it's not laminate looking. It is, well, I don't know what this stuff is made out of. MDF? <laughs> I have no idea. It's Ikea stuff. But, oh no, wait, wood. this is real wood. It's That's wood. right, the Hemneys are real wood. This is not empty yet. Alright, All right, Gary's done. So, that looks pretty nice. So what is the, what is the top? You, do you have something to cover up the screws? No. What do you mean, no? Um, no. Really? Pretty much. I guess you're not going to see them because it's going to be... You're not going to see them, no. But that's weird. I can't yeah, usually give you stuff to that. Yeah. All right, guys. Want, you got paint. You could dab them with if you want. All right, guys. That's it for uh, Fix It Friday. Thank you, Gary. Peace out. <laughs> Enjoy your day. It's Friday. <laughs> yes, it is. Why nothing comments from the peanut gallery? Who asked you? <laughs> it's not Friday. It's Wednesday. Y'all know that. Bye, guys. Enjoy your day. Mm -hmm.